Hello and welcome back to more Heavy Rain with Madison Page and Balzar Harry. Let's see what we got going on now. Oh, Madison, what are you doing? You're sneaking into Ethan's room. You know you want to. Oh, he left the door open. How convenient. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god! Hey, buddy. You alright? Uh, get your fat ass up. this that is not the proper way to lift somebody yeah. use your back it's the strongest muscle in your body Ethan Ethan can you hear me? Came too many painkillers. Uh, see here. I know that's the origami box, but I need to find something to bandage his wounds with. No, I don't know. Alright. I'm gonna look at some origami figures. What is he doing with them? Try to save a son, you fucking weirdo. Now can I get medicine? No? Come on. Bandages. Wrap him up in toilet paper. Mummify him. Hey. hey. Burning up. You've got a hell of a fever. Okay. Your arms look really bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. Are those burn marks on your chest? your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. Yeah. Those are serious burns. I don't know if I can do anything for you. Alright, let's go. So, fever, burns. Let's see what we got here. We gotta just take everything. Doctor, but I'll do what I can. Okay, so good medicine. Let's see here, we need to disinfect. Disinfect everything. Definitely in the arms. Slowly with magic egg. 
Slowly with magic egg. And again with magic egg. Oh my god, okay. There we go. God, quit pawing on him, lady. Disinfected. Now we gotta give him ointment. It puts the lotion on the skin. Yes. Feels good, doesn't it? Oh, too much. That's how you know it's working. Sorry. I'll take it easy. Gotta do it. Gotta do it hard so it gets in there. That should ease the pain. Okay. Any more bandages? Uh, let's give him some antibiotics so he doesn't get an infection. Take some of that. Yummy. Let's wrap them up. Oh, keep going? Okay. My bad. Just keep... Just keep going. Don't stop. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. Oh, come on! Oh. Okay, I did the square, or triangle, whatever fuck. Oh, okay, I gotta smash it. Got it. More of this. My fucking thumb keeps slipping off the stick. There we go. That's all I can do. How do you feel? Ethan? He's unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait and hope he wakes up. Or at least throw some covers on him. Jesus. How do you feel? I've been better. Was I out for long? About three hours. Why the guardian angel act? You don't even know me. When I was a child, I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. Wow. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. <sighs> you said you were here because you're an insomniac? I, um, 
I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. I do what I can to live with it, but uh, it's not easy. You, um, you got some kind of a problem? Bigger than you can possibly imagine. You only know half of it, lady. You mixed up with the Mafia? Owe someone money? Something like that? Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Help! Maybe I could help you. I... No one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. Right. I'm gonna go. Take care. All right. Don't let the door hit you on your bow butt on the way out. You might break it. Oh, uh, what now? Lizard. Are you prepared to make a sacrifice to save your son? Dun dun dun. Yeah, we get. We can do that. I've unlocked a new bonus. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ah, uh, answer the phone. Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. That was a weird cut. It was cut. a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. What the fuck, I bitch? Asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was... What kind of typing is that? Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement. Hold on. About another big Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if it's just me, but the music just seems super loud. Still, it's like overpowering the dialogue. Of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. Like, it's just me? I mean, I get it. it's music, you know, intensify, but Jesus Christ. Police Lieutenant Carter Blake. This is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. Dr. Patient. Your pardon. I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Not doing anything. I'm just going to focus. I'm sorry. I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate for your own sake. Nope. I'm not helping you, Blake. You can fuck off. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Just 
Doctor patient uh, confidentiality. I'm going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The yeah. only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So you're going to be a good boy and tell me what I want to know, or I am really going to lose my temper. Let go of me. You, you have no right. None. <laughs> oh, really? I am the one who decides what is right and wrong. And I've just decided that you are wrong, doctor. Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. If you don't let go of this man immediately, I'll report you and you'll be off the case. Yeah. What the hell's the matter with you, Norman? What, you getting cold feet? You don't want to save Sean Mars anymore? I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me all rights. So you're gonna stop this shit right now. Yeah. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. He feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. Damn, everybody's against me. Take it a good cop, good cop achievement. Yeah, sweet. Uh, to get the bad cop achievement, you don't do anything. You just sit there and let him fucking beat the shit out of the uh, shrink. So cool. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. No, I'm not! What are you doing, Scott? There we go. Boink. That's a nice driving range. I think when big business type moguls would be out there doing shit like that. That's a weird band aid they put there on his eye. It's not like. I don't know, there's something wrong with it. Hey, homie. Um, it's hard to see. There we go. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? Hit There's your no balls. No danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. The balls are in that basket. Oh, thank you. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Well, if you want to hold a golf club, hold a golf club like you would hold your dick, gentle but firm. Okay, R one, L one. Oh, L. It's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. 
I gotta get those hips into it. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. Got one. Nice. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. There you go. I'm an influential man, Mr. Sheldon. Oh. And I pay very well for loyalty. Are you trying to buy me? Because I'm Let's for sale. Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. But you see that band-aid on his eye? How it, it just doesn't look right. It's like a blood band-aid. Oh, man. What is next? Ethan Mars, run from the cops. Mm, nice place. Ah, oh, stinky snake. Or a lizard. Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat up stuff. Yeah. I put that. Is this a snake? Ah, yeah, found it. Smash. Bang. Gold timey key type to key. Oh. Oh, pretty sure. I'm a black. Yep, pretty sure I have to go in here. Is this? Ah, fuck it. I don't think that's the thing. All right. I think I'm going to call it here, and I will see you guys next time for some more heavy rain. Thanks for watching.